we're doing a face on view here because this golfer wanted to look at his weight transfer to make sure he was shifting his weight both towards the back foot and then finally towards the front foot. So instead of drawing the swing plane, we'll draw what's called a power line. Uh, what we'd like to see is everything ending up over that line after impact or at the finish. That means your right ear, right shoulder, right hip, right knee, all has to be on that line and you're standing nice and tall. Let's go ahead and play the swing in slow motion from here. I don't like to see this much static. A little handsy. little tip over there. Turns through it. Notice, didn't get forward. The head went first. When the head goes first, we're almost never going to have all the power we want. So with this golfer, we're going to work real hard on getting him to keep that head back. Now, see where he ends up? You can see where the head is well out in front of the swing. The hips need to lead the swing. Belly button to the target first. Uh, if this red line was a wall, his head would be smashed into the wall well before the belly hits the wall. And then he ends up leaning well forward. Uh, we're going to get those hips to be a little more active. Throw your belt buckle to the target. Here we see a very nice setup. I like the position of the uh, trail hand. Uh, clubs well on the fingers. Knees are lightly bent. Spine's up at 1 o'clock. Chin could be up a little higher, but uh, this is a pretty good setup. Let's go ahead and draw our swing plane in. Watch the initial part of the takeaway where you can see there's a lot more hand action than we need to have. Rotating the hands over, which kind of drops the club a little to the inside. And instead of dropping that left shoulder down under his chin, the left shoulder is going out too far. Um, not too bad, uh, but we'd like to see that. Also, take a look here at the right knee, uh, I mean left knee. Notice how it's uh, moving out uh, towards the ball instead of back towards the right knee. And the right knee is straightening up a little bit. Let's continue watching the takeaway. Now the right knee is totally straight. The left knee is bent. Uh, kind of a stack and tilt posture. You might look into stack and tilt. Let's see if we drop the club back on the plane. Not too bad there. Look at that nice rotation of the hip into the shot. Just a little late and closing up the face. You can see right, right about now how far under the club the right hand is rather than rotating over the top. And right now it's starting to rotate. So just a little late with the rotation, but a good swing. We have another pretty good setup. Uh, hands can be down a little bit lower, but not bad. Chin is up. Uh, spine's tilted to 1 o'clock. Let's go ahead and just draw the spine angle in on this golfer. We'll see if she maintains her spine angle nicely from her hip up through her ear. Uh, watch the takeaway. Good to this point. Nice shoulder rotation. Then the lift happens right about there. We see this with a lot of golfers, too. They're, they lift up out of their spine angle, and then it's really hard to find the same spot coming back down again. Notice how far under she's getting. So the club is going to miss the ball way outside. You know, so she's got to kind of pull it in. And then she doesn't get any hip rotation into the uh, target line. Uh, so we're going to work on keeping the head a little bit more stable, keep the flex in the knees, and try to maintain that spine angle. See a pretty good setup here. Let's just watch this swing in slow motion. Right on the blue line with the hands, very nicely. See if we get some club lag. Not enough club lag coming back down, but really not too bad. And I'll go back and I'll show you what I mean by the club lag. Uh, what we'd like to see, as that club starts down, we want to see the club head drop kind of behind you a little bit more. Instead of coming a little bit, even more than that. And I think you can do that by dropping your right elbow more to the ground earlier. And that way the club is going to be coming at the ball from under the blue line. Uh, but what you've got there is a very nice straight swing. Um, you can lose some distance, but you can be very controlled. Nice, strong, athletic setup. Uh, notice that the uh, target line is over the flag. The foot line is considerably left of that, as it should be. Um, the ball should start out and end up kind of over here towards that target is what we're looking for. Right now, let's go ahead and play this swing out in slow motion. Nice takeaway. Minimal lift. Look at that ball heading right at the target. Very important to realize that we can't aim our feet at the target. They have to be considerably left, left of the target. Let's go ahead and bring that club back down to the setup position. Right there. Boom. Right into the shot. Look at her drive that left that right shoulder down at the golf ball. See how the right shoulder is going down at the golf ball? I think if we could have got that much rotation on the way back with the shoulders, 
we'd have had a better swing. Notice how this shoulder's up much higher than the left shoulder, I mean the right shoulder was at impact. Let's get those shoulders going down a little bit more, more along, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do, more along this line here, down a little bit towards the golf ball, or at least parallel uh, to the swing plane. Good job. We're doing a face-on view here because this golfer wanted to look at his weight transfer to make sure he was shifting his weight both towards the back foot and then finally towards the front foot. So instead of drawing the swing plane, we'll draw what's called the power line. Uh, what we'd like to see is everything ending up over that line after impact or at the finish. That means your right ear, right shoulder, right hip, right knee, all has to be on that line and you're standing nice and tall. Let's go ahead and play the swing in slow motion from here. I don't like to see this much static. A little handsy. little tip over there. Turns through it. Notice, didn't get forward. The head went first. When the head goes first, we're almost never going to have all the power we want. So with this golfer, we're going to work real hard on getting him to keep that head back. Now, see where he ends up? You can see where the head is well out in front of the swing. The hips need to lead the swing. Belly button to the target first. Uh, if this red line was a wall, this head would be smashed into the wall well before the belly hits the wall. And then he ends up leaning well forward. Uh, we're going to get those hips to be a little more active. Throw your belt buckle to the target. 